The Portuguese Empire, 1520 to 1600. Portuguese seafarers and travelers paved the way for European colonization around the world. At its height, their trading empire spanned the whole globe. The Portuguese were the leading seafaring explorers of Europe. They had long been fishermen, accustomed to the high seas. Henry the Navigator began the training of sailors in the mid-1400s and sent ships down the west coast of Africa. There were large profits at stake in the trade of exotic goods. Portuguese explorers reached the East Indies, Indonesia, in the early 1500s following the Muslim trade routes to the Moluccas, also known as the Spice Islands, where they were, uh, were rich in the spices such as cinnamon, cloves, and nutmeg that Europe wanted. To control his valuable trade, the Portuguese conquered the Moluccas and seized many of the best-placed ports in the Indian Ocean. They also visited China, because Portuguese traders needed to sail around Africa in order to return to Lisbon, forts were set up at various points along the African coast to supply and protect the ships. The Start of the Slave Trade From Africa, the Portuguese bought gold and slaves to work on their sugar plantations. The first ones were on the African island of Sao Tome, but the sugar was inferior and the market collapsed. Problems grew. In the 1570s, a slave named Amador led a major revolt. Raids by pirates were a continuing threat. Sao Tome became only a place where slaves were loaded onto ships bound for Brazil. And so the transatlantic slave trade began. At its height in the 1500s, the Portuguese Empire did not possess large areas of colonial land like the Spanish, but they did hold well-placed, valuable trading ports and plantations. These included Angola and Mozambique, the islands of Cape Verde, Madeira, and the Azores, the base of Ormuz, Persia, Goa and Calcutta in India, and Colombo, Sri Lanka. The trading posts in the Far East, such as Macau, China, the Celebs, Java, and Malacca.